the major driver uh, and investment in telehealth is really uh, to provide equity of access in a timely fashion for both patients and clinicians for expert anti-cancer care. Hi Doug, it's lovely to see you today. And everyone in Australia should be entitled to that. I'm keeping very well actually. No matter where they live, no matter what their cancer is uh, and no matter who they are. So about 37% of patients actually live in regional and or remote areas. Uh, we know there's a huge disparity in terms of the delivery of healthcare. Uh, we know patients that live in regional and remote areas have a far inferior outcomes and indeed overall survival. And that's due to a number of factors. And these digital tools actually overcome every single one of those components. They enable patients to get care at home so they don't need to travel for that expert advice and contributions. But also it enables local clinicians to become part of their care. We often forget as the specialist centres in the city that we see patients for an isolated moment and then send them back to their regional areas uh, and expect the same care to be delivered. So it actually enables us to connect with them, uh, upskill the clinicians, make them feel that they're a part of their primary no, care. new for you to report to me? Just done a physical exam and there's been no changes. And so not only are the patients able to stay in their local community, but they're being given the same standard of care in the regions that they would get if they attended the major metro centres. That can be really powerful because if we do have side effects with delivery of anti-cancer therapy, the last thing we want is when a patient's not feeling well is to expect them to come down to Melbourne and have a 400 kilometre round trip just to sort out their nausea. The challenge of navigating uh, Melbourne is uh, emotionally distressing. Uh, it takes a lot of time out of their day from personal experience growing up in a uh, place like Tasmania, but also delivering the care in Bendigo and meeting the patients and the families, I know the only thing they like about Melbourne is through the rear vision mirror. For me personally, every time I see a patient in clinic, my first thought is at the completion of the clinical review is could their next visit be a telehealth?